So, Ace Scooper Stevie Wonder saw this one coming. Um, and Scarlett Johansson is back at Disney and Marvel Studios. How funny is that? Yeah, yeah. Um, who could have foreseen? I like how there's this notion that if you sue someone, you absolutely must hate them. It's yeah. Like, no. <laughs> no. When it comes to that stuff, it's just kind of like, eh, who, who's in the right, who's in the wrong here? We'll find out by law. Yeah. That's all it is. And this was always one of those scenarios where once the money was sorted, you automatically knew what the next step was. Like, you know, they're, oh, they're yeah, going to work together yeah. again. Like, there was never any doubt that it wasn't going to happen. So... I mean, didn't, like, Deadline or someone say, it's like, oh, yeah, she's still producing the Tower of Terror movie or whatever it was. Yep. It's like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she got the bag. Yep. The... Yeah, absolutely got the bag. They the paid bag. her the money, and she yeah. is back with a bag full of money. So, yeah, you know, it's um, it makes sense. Now, the bigger conversation here is, we initially found out, and it wasn't reported fully, but then we found out, it's like, oh, it's something not involving Black Widow, necessarily. Like, it, it's not really the Black Widow from what Kevin Feige and everybody said, but she's definitely involved with something at Marvel Studios, supposed to be big. The only thing I can think of is A-Force, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the first thing my mind went to as well. Like Either that, or I can see, like, a Young Avengers thing. Yeah, yep. I have a produce Young Avengers or something, but A Force, no, definitely. Especially like if you're gonna go for that whole like it's the, every woman we've had like leading lady in the MCU, you kind of need ScarJo in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and since so obviously she can't be in it, have her behind the scenes and hell, have her direct it. Why not? I was gonna say I could honestly see them having her direct it or maybe like co-direct it mm. or maybe mm. even involve her with like you know like a section of the MCU that's like female focused being like, Hey, you were the one that's been here from the beginning. It's kind of like, it's a good PR spin. Like, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, and quickly they're going to end up like burying the whole thing. Like you just know they're going to like, whatever interview happens next year, early on or whatever, when she's talking more about upcoming projects, they're like, so how about you and Disney? And she's going to give you the most PR. Well, yeah. <laughs> Disney was always a great partner to work with. We just couldn't see eye to eye, but, and it's going to be the Spanish reckon. Guess what? And it's all going to get like, it's like it never happened, right? Like you yeah, look at yeah, Sony and yeah. Disney, that was 10 times what happened with her. You know, like it was so much more public as Spider-Man was in the middle of this, literally a Twitter war over the character. It was like... <laughs> You guys really? <laughs> well, it was it was Sony trying to start a Twitter war. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the, uh, I forgot about that. Entire thing. It, it was like, a situation. What a memory. <laughs> what a memory. So, so I think we're both in agreement. This thing, it was going to only end one way. It was going to be this. Like, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Um, everybody got what they want. She's probably going to honestly end up getting paid even more now than ever before. And... Oh, 100%, because you know full well as well, this is Chapek being like, look, we I need to kind of recoup the with the director's, the talent-friendly studio. Yeah. Yep. Now, I need to get that image back. So, hey, here's ScarJo, have a ton of money. Mm -hmm. here's, the, here's the 50 mil you wanted, but have even more money. And I, I personally, because you, you touched upon something I wanted to mention, I think this is, again, like you said, his way of being like, hey, guys, look, because now that they've settled this and they go, well, now, guess what? We had a contract dispute over just her acting, but now she's involved in even more. And this sort of tells you, it's like, hey, if the Russo brothers were maybe walking away, now they're like, hmm. Like, it's it's a come yeah. back to the family type of, you know, like it's like, look, yeah, somebody brought up politics during Thanksgiving, but look. It's Sunday now. We can all sit back down and we can be family again, right? That's kind of where you're at. We won't talk about politics for a while, right? That's kind of the scenario they're in. It's like, yeah, mm, it, it, it's smart. I, I like it. I appreciate it. I'm glad she'll be around. This honestly makes me believe that we're probably going to get a Black Widow 2, but not starring her, obviously. Just maybe she'll direct. I mean, yeah, I, th I think you're going to get that anyway. Good. I need that. <laughs> Like, it was always going to be Yelena. Like, Florence Pugh ain't a, a one-and-done side character. They're, they're going to make a buttload of money off of this. Mm -hmm. Yep. 100% agree there. So, there we go. That was the uh, 
first topic we had there, and uh, we're both excited.